So I've been spending the weekend salvaging free bricks, and I'm really happy with how that's going. Unfortunately, it's always difficult to move the trailer into the backyard. It's tedious with the with the truck. It's kind of difficult with myself. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a trailer hitch or trailer ball to the back of my electric lawn tractor. Since I can move the trailer by myself, I'm pretty sure this will have enough power to move it, but I'm not sure if what I have planned will have enough structure to really hold the weight on the on the tongue of the trailer. But only one way to find out. So I have a new trailer ball for it, and I think it could probably that right there would be a good spot for it. I happen to have this nice piece of angle iron, which I'm pretty sure I can cut in half, and that can be the bottom part of it. I'm thinking having it right there, so have the hitch there, and also have some other pieces of metal coming up to help hold it up and whatnot. But not only would this act as a hitch, this would also act as a shield for the motor if I back into something. So here's what I came up with so far. I'm not going to weld the ball to it anymore. I'm going to weld the nut to it. So I'll have the nut welded right here and I can screw the ball in if I want to use it, but if not, I can screw something else in there so it can be like a changeable tool. I'll have these little pieces of metal coming down that should really help hold this up. And yeah, let's go welding. I figure I should also go ahead and fix the front tool before I put the welder away. I almost forgot to weld the seat back on. That would have been uncomfortable. The seat needs a little bit more support in the front, so I added this little piece of metal going across here. Well, I think that pretty much proves that the hitch is more than strong enough, so that makes me happy. 
Got to move some weight from the front into the back. A good amount of weight too, because it's hard to push this down. Well, let's try 72 volts. So 72 volts worked pretty well. Unfortunately, it looks like I forgot to weld on the inside of this nut, so the nut popped off. Plus, I was kind of wondering if that would have enough strength anyway, because it's just one nut. I might see about putting a second nut underneath it. I'm not sure. Either way, I'm really happy with how that went, and I feel like this is a pretty strong little hitch that I made. Looking good so far. I think I'm just going to throw all these bricks on the ground so I can finish this video. This is awesome. This is so easy. 
So the pulley came off. I was pretty much expecting it to happen. I'm kind of surprised it didn't happen earlier. There's just no place for the screw to dig into the threaded shaft coming out of the motor. This is obviously not meant to have this on there, but I can modify that, or I might see about replacing with a chain and, a chain and a sprocket. Uh, I don't know. This is already set up, and it's just just it needs a few little tweaks just to get this working okay. And with this wood I added, it definitely does keep it tight enough. Also, I would like to see about modifying the electricals on this and give me, uh, give it more control to where I have like forward and reverse electrically, not just forward and have to use the reverse in the transmission. I'm really happy with how this went. I'm very surprised by just how well it backed up. You have so much control over it. I think it's because you have to rotate the wheel, the steering wheel, so many times, like three times, just to go all the way right, and three times just to go all the way left. So you just you have a very, very firm control, a very precise control over your steering, and so that allows you to back it up in one go very easily. Honestly, the first time I tried, it worked wonderfully. I didn't have to like edit out any fumbling or like having to go forward to reset it and trying again. This works so amazingly well. I cannot believe it. I, I hope that it can handle a full load of bricks, but I might just go into like half loads or like 75% loads just because I wouldn't want to break this again. But if not, I can find a way to fix that. I'm pretty happy with how strong this is, and I'm pretty sure this is a good idea. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you very much for watching. See ya!